How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today, as always. And today we're going to be dedicating this video to Brynn. Because Brynn was my original main legend. I She's also my highest level legend at level 49. I used to play Brynn all the time way back. Probably in like season 1, 2, 3, that area. So it's been a long time really since I've played her a lot. But I feel like... It's time to come back full circle and revisit my OG main. And this is typically the skin and colors that I would use for Brynn back when I was grinding ranked with her. Um, the reason I don't play Brynn as much anymore isn't because I don't like her. She's really, or because she's like a bad legend. She's a really decent legend. I mean, she has spear and axe, two very good weapons. It's mainly just because I've gravitated... As I've, uh, well, let me back up some. As I've aged in Brahalla, you know, I've been playing Brahalla for a few years. I've played all the different weapons a lot. And um, personally, I find that I just don't like axe that much compared to like uh, guitars or bow or even uh, scythe. So I haven't played Brynn as much. But, today, hopefully, we can get some wins. There we go. I've been trying to hit her with that down stick for a while, but she's been like really hard to hit. <laughs> Look at her, she won't approach. I'm in red and she won't approach. Red on arm. You have to you have to be aggressive guys. Don't don't do what he's doing. He was relying on his uh defense there, but I have no reason to approach if I'm winning and I'm in red. You know, I'm gonna play a little safe. You're gonna have to be aggressive. There you go. There you go. Alright, so unfortunately he kind of killed himself there. That was nice. Oh my goodness, that hit his face! Yeah, buddy! He keeps trying to kill me that way. Not gonna work, dude, not gonna work. Ever since I saw him throwing the down stick out early in the match, I knew that was like his favorite kill move. So I just would not go on top of him. GG, dude, GG. Um, you have to read your opponent and see how they like to play and just don't give in to how they like to play. Uh, because if you do, you're probably gonna lose. So back in the day, we did not have OG charge colored sigs for Brynn and now we do so kind of cool I can see what all these old skins look like I 
really don't like what they did with the face paint on, uh, behind her eyes on this one. Normally it's like a dark color kind of, or at least a color you can see, but with the OG colors it's almost like you can't even see it. They should have made it green at least. Such a waste. Well, let's try a different skin. Let's do Gold Forge Fallen Bryn. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. I'm definitely feeling good. Um, just woke up like a couple hours ago, so I'm a little sleepy. I'm drinking my tea. Hopefully that'll wake me up. Yeah, that first match wasn't really that flashy. It was kind of a battle of wills. Um, neither one of us had a lot of good, like, flashy strings or anything like that, but yeah, sometimes Rahala matches are like that. All right, going against Rahar. A Fallen Brin mirror match, dude. What are the odds? Went for the uh, sweep right off the bat, but could not get it. Finally, I got a side sig, man. That should be a lot easier to hit, you would think. I was able to turn around and get that spear neutral sig off pretty quick. Oh, we both did the same attack. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, buddy. Got him with the two stock. Gold Forge is such a good looking uh, color on that skin. GG, dude. GG. Really cool that we had a mirror match with Paul and Angel Brand. Bow or Orb KOs? No, 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 no. Oh, I already replaced. My bad. Oh, well. Hmm. Which legend? I mean, sorry. Which skin do we want to use next? I think that honestly. Uh. You know what, I can't do a Bryn video without doing Barbara, at least for one, one match. Let's do Barbara. Alright, go to get uh, Nimue, Sam the Banana. You know, I like Barbara and like I'm not gonna... I hope I don't come off as like sounding like I'm complaining. But I wish that Bryn would have been like a better, different, uh, epic crossover skin because, I don't know, Barbara's cool and all, but she's just not that cool looking, that's all. Tried to get to the triple. Don't forget, man, Bryn's got that spear side sig. It'll literally reach across the stage if you're not careful. This might be a three stock, boys.
Hey, buddy. You gotta stop doing that, man. GG, GG, dude, GG. Cool uh, profile pick, though. <laughs> that dusk is so cute. Well played, dude, well played. Let's do a uh, Power Ranger Brynn, as I like to call her. We're gonna go Purple Power Ranger. All right, going against Altype X01, Black Val, Kunoichi Val. Purple Power Ranger, let's go. Goodbye and good night. You cannot defeat the light. I was wondering if you were going to do that. Nice dodge on the full spear. Close. Oh, what a weapon throw. Nice soft touch. Pogo. Wow, gauntlets are so good. See, this is why I kind of gravitated away from Bryn. There's just better weapons now. Gauntlets, Katars, so many. Not even close, bro. I haven't seen somebody perfect dodge a spear neutral air twice in a row in quite a while. Psych! Oof, I had a good comeback there. Had a good comeback. GG, dude, GG. Yeah, gauntlets are just really, really, really hard to beat if they know what they're doing. That's why I like to play gauntlets. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, hey, you know, I, I could I could have beat him. I could have beat him. I'm not saying that gauntlets are so overpowered that I didn't have a chance. Because I did. He just played well. But I think gauntlets at their best definitely beats axe or spear at their best just because of the level of control any weapon that you can literally grab and throw is going to be op compared to every other weapon in my opinion even if they have low damage or low force or like any other kind of nerf um spear or i'm sorry scythe gauntlets those two definitely in my opinion are the two best weapons in the game and no coincidence that Mordex is literally pretty much the best legend in the game because he has two of the best weapons in the game. Now, just because 
Mordex has the best weapons doesn't mean that you can just pick up Mordex and be a pro and be beating everybody. Obviously, it takes some skill to wield the gauntlets or the scythe to their full potential. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to do. Gauntlets and scythe, even though I say they're the best weapons, they're also the hardest to master. But they have the highest ceiling, for sure. And they always will, as long as you can grab and throw. As soon as I saw that, when they added scythe and then gauntlets, I, I knew it was going to be literally almost impossible to beat somebody who was good at that. And it's been true ever since, unfortunately. But, you know, I have faith in BMG that they could keep balancing the game and somehow make it uh, better. All right, going against Blood Fang. We got Harpy, Bryn, Red. Oops, sorry. Red colors. I also really like Orb. It's kind of why I like Petra a lot. She's got Gauntlet and Orb. Alright, he's finding his space. I can't allow that. He was staying just out of range and then punishing every time I missed. Beautiful way to play. And he got me pretty damaged because of that. Nice, uh, see, being aggressive is the best way to play. And he just proved it. Even though he was unarmed. Okay, that should have hit. Some people call me a SIG spammer, but people don't expect you to do the same SIG two or three times in a row. And the thing about this game is, if you want to win, you really have to find ways to become unpredictable. And one way to do that is throwing out SIGs when they least expect it. Or even when they expect it, but like not really sure what you're doing. Just to throw them off your scent a little bit of what you're doing. Because if you become predictable in this rank, you will lose. People in Diamond and High Plat are too good. Not just in the attacks that you use, but in how you move as well. You have to change your movement up. Don't always fast fall the same speed. Don't always move the same way. Sometimes hold still for a second just to throw them off. Especially after you've been uh, moving around quickly a lot. Sometimes the best thing you can do is hold still. GG dude, GG. Alright guys, well I think that's gonna be it for my Bryn video. I had a lot of fun revisiting my old OG main legend. After playing her this morning, I think that my final decision is I'm not gonna go back to Bryn because she's still always gonna have a special place in my heart, but like I said, Times have changed. Uh, when I first started the game, Azuri was the newest legend. Uh, Bryn had, was also pretty new. And they've added Gauntlets, Scythe, Orb, and Cannon, and Bow since then. And out of all of those weapons, they've added, like I said, the Gauntlets, the Scythe, the Orb. They're very control weapons, and it just kind of changed the meta of the game. And until that changes, Bryn is not going to be in my top five legends. Um, top five legends are pretty much always going to have either Gauntlet, Scythe, something like that. Katars. Katars are amazing. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Any Bryn mains out there still holding on to that OG Bryn? If you are, let me know in the comments below. Mad respect, plus respect if you are OG Bryn main. Man, I should have used Metadev Bryn. Oh well, I will next time, guys. Anyways, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy.